What a way to wake up in the morning. <laughs> On our first full day in Switzerland, Matt's aunt and uncle took us on a little driving tour and showed us around their town. But thankfully we got back before the storm rolled in. Since we couldn't go outside and explore, we stayed inside and worked hard at our new video. In case you missed it, I'll link it here. Overslept. It's okay. Oh well. I woke up at like two and couldn't sleep for a couple of hours, so I'm glad I got that sleep back. Thursday was the Swiss version of Easter, so we helped Matt's aunt make her traditional hard-boiled eggs. First you place a wet leaf on top of the egg, wrap it in nylon, and then wrap it up and tie it off. Then you boil them in a pot of water and onion peels. She'd been saving these onion peels since Christmas. Day four, I think. We're taking a nice jaunt through the uh, Valdian countryside. It's, it's breathtaking out here. It's nice to just enjoy the beauty, the natural beauty. Next day, we took our first drive in our rental car to downtown Zurich. This was partly to find a bank so that we could get some Swiss francs, and partly to practice driving on the Swiss roads. Your first time driving in a foreign country, how does it feel? <sighs> Overwhelming a little bit. <laughs> it's good. I mean, it's uh, trying to get used to a new car and then also it's like a lot of very tiny little roads as you can see yeah um, two cars are supposed to be able to fit here but yeah i'll so believe it when i see so, it yeah we're currently on our way to zurich to see uh the bank yeah. it's so much new all at once but it is a really beautiful drive you just can't go very fast it's, just, it's a little bumpy We are in Zurich, in front of the Park Hyatt. There's a nice Rolls Royce over there. <laughs> and uh, our adventures uh, finding a bank uh, did not go so well. <laughs> and so now we are kind of just walking well, around. we found the bank. It and just... it's for investments and not for... Yeah. Um, not for us. Yeah. So instead we will walk around Zurich yeah. and explore. We decided to walk along the boardwalk and through Zurich's botanical gardens, which were so gorgeous. What is this tree show? Um, what's the name of that dog that looks like a big mop, like... What's a it? mop tree? No, but that dog that looks like a big mop. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes. Ah! We 
walked around downtown and found a popular chocolate store to check out. The drive up was actually pretty good. Everything was really well marked. I feel like that's something I appreciate here is they have symbols, but they're pretty simple and you can tell what they mean. If not, you just follow the car in front of you if you're turning. But if you're out here in probably either Switzerland or Germany, there's the Autobahn, which is like the highway and you need like a, a sticker on your car to be able to drive on it from my understanding and so if you're gonna rent a car or anything make sure that you check and see if it has the sticker for the it has like it's green and it has a couple lanes with a cross in between and so thankfully our car already has one so we were able to take the autobahn so it's Bahnhof is train station like autobahn, i said getting confused autobahn is car like highway like auto but then bond is still like you're transporting you're driving mm. but in an auto instead of a train ah i guess german lesson of the day so we just had a revelation <laughs> lately we've been feeling kind of discouraged and just a little bit nervous about you know, driving the car or using our credit cards and just things that maybe have either gone wrong so far or have just been a little bit difficult and it's been making us feel discouraged, like how are we gonna do this? Even just worrying about like going out the next time to do anything and we've been feeling nervous and worried, but today went great and we feel much more confident and we feel like it's so easy to get caught up in worries and nerves when you're just thinking about doing things and not actually trying them and when you're just alone with your thoughts but when you actually get out and try them i mean obviously you know you need to be calculated and and like smart about risks that you take but at the end of the day like you just need to try things and like see if they're actually as scary as you think they are. Well, it's just, there's so much new right now. I think you, I don't know, There's there's been a lot of doubt with like, oh wow, this is actually like, it's challenging to live in a different country and like learn a new language and rent a car and uh, like buy groceries and like <laughs> learn a new language. There's so much to do. I, I have gotten discouraged the past couple of days of just like, and we've only been here a couple of days, so it's like kind of ridiculous. Um, but it's it's just, you, you know it's going to be a lot of change, but you don't realize how much change it's going to be. There's even apprehension when you're like, well, going into Zurich in a car and like, am I gonna be okay to drive? Or like, oh, my credit card doesn't work the same way in a different country. Like, of course, it's a different country. You have to give yourself grace to, kind of work through it but I think it's important to just take your time and take one day at a time and realize that you don't need to plan out every little tiny thing and, and you don't need to do everything right the first time yeah you like, don't know you can what make you don't mistakes know and yeah and like learn what the right way to do something is because otherwise you might never learn and if you don't have the opportunity but basically today we figured out how to better pay for things with our cards um, here and how to maneuver like the bank and withdrawing money and those sorts of things which was great and also how to drive we learned some new words like Ausfahrt is exit so that's important for getting off the freeway uh, and just some of the different symbols for for driving uh, what they mean for my first home cooked meal I had to go with my classic pasta olive vodka my favorite The next day, we had our holiday brunch, and Matt's aunt treated us to such a spread. And since it was such a gorgeous day, we took the family out to fly the drone, and they got such a kick out of it.
next week, we'll see you in Italy.